Okay, here we are again. YZ215 1989. Just a quick overhaul of the engine as we bought it. When we went and picked up the bike, the guy said it's got uh, compression and it runs. Do you want to fire it up? We said no. And uh, so we got home and we did fire it up for a few seconds, which is pretty lucky. Uh, but it fired up a lot of smoke and crap coming out of the exhaust everywhere, oil. You know what, but it sounded pretty crisp, started second kick. Which is surprising, considering one of the rings is completely seized in the top. I'll put it back in there. Because it's in the ball like that. Down like that. Go up and down. And this little baby was just rattling in there. Consequently, hitting that. So luckily we only fired it up for a couple of seconds, but he'd been running it and thought, oh, there's something wrong, which is pretty obvious, but there's only half a power valve in there. It wasn't even connected up. And uh, exactly like it is there. So, trying to get one of these 89 uh, power valves off the internet is uh, pretty hard. Uh, if you're lucky, you, I don't think you can get new ones anywhere, but I'm sure you can get uh, second hand ones. But we did from the States. Couldn't get an 89, so we've got an 88. And I thought it was pretty similar. Uh, you know, looking at the pictures, blah, blah, blah. Mate, he sends it over from the States. And uh, turns out that it is slightly different. Now, the difference is, apart from the holder on the back, which has no lugs, it's just literally uh, a bush that sits in the round end there. And uh, the other one, as you can see, it's completely different. But, uh, and it came also this bit here, which goes on this end, which holds this end of the power valve, i.e. that, i.e. that had no rubbers or centers in it so, uh, so and other issue was you can see by that well, it's different the ends are completely different these areas here these dimensions are the same but it's just the ends here one's got a screw that goes inside and the other one's got an external bolt um, uh, thread so but, as you can see, I had to uh, machine it myself with basic tools back to be able to fabricate the new one on. Um, basically, this thread here went inside some aluminium there that I had to file down to get back to that, that dimension there. To be able to get that to sit on there properly and uh, that to sit and hold the spring and keep it away from the... Uh, um, the end of that. Okay. So anyway, it's fabricated, so it can be done with basic tools. You don't have to go get a machine or nothing like that. You just need a, a file with uh, a two-edge file. You can round it off, keep trying it until you get that to slide on there like that. So you can just get a nut on the end, a locking nut on the end, blah, 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 to hold it together. Obviously that needs to turn on the spring which I will show you later when it's all uh, all up together but it can be fabricated right now it's in two halves uh, this is the uh, new one that we got from the States uh, and he sent it with a broken bit that holds it on so uh, it's actually pointless so anyway they go together as you can see there's two pins like that and they're going together I can't really see that well because I'm only on a little camera that goes together like that, actually inside, as you can see like that. Then on this end, there's a hole, which, <coughs> excuse me, that goes in there. I would put a bit of Loctite in there just to hold it in, and stop stops all that coming apart inside, so that in the barrel, it just literally turns like that, from uh, partially blocking to like that, to having full ball. So it's like that and, and uh, tick over. And then uh, obviously when the um, governor comes in, whoosh, 
goes like that and allows more gases out. So that's basically what it does. Uh, so it can be done, um, but you know, just look harder at it. And I, I sort of got a bit worried. Thought, oh no, I got found an 89 one, but couldn't. Blah blah blah. So anyway, damage in here wasn't too bad. Uh, uh, wasn't too bad. So what I do is I just sort of honed it up a, a little bit. Looks like a pretty good bow on there. I think that I think they've uh, blown it up before. I think the original power valve perhaps collapsed in there and um, it's, it's a little bit score but it's below the fire stroke so hopefully it's not going to affect the, the rings too much or I can get a little bit out of it because it's a good barrel 68 mil spot on hardly worn in, in three or four different places so I'll give that a go see how it goes um, it's obviously had something go down in there because it's pretty mutilated in, in certain areas i.e. over here and uh, down there, it's been. You know, I think that's a new crank. It looks like a, a modern con uh, con rod, and also um, the signs in here where the actual con rod slid across. Obviously, when it smashed up or something went down in there and uh, hit the casing. So oh, I'm hoping it's that anyway. Uh, that was that issue. So as far as the crank and the barrel, it's pretty good. So we're going to keep that, we're just going to get a new piston for that and obviously bearings. Uh, so, uh, we just had a, a quick look over this and everything seemed to be okay and in order and we didn't split it. I had a little look in there and saw what I could saw, I'm just, just too lazy to split it really and uh, just give it a go. Clutch was alright when we uh, tried it, when we had it going for literally 30-40 seconds and uh, this here we noticed this is the one that was on it which we wouldn't have run it it's got some teeth missing that's off the pump the uh, well, I said get some sort of gear in on the back there it's about 26 pound new bought it off the internet for well, tenner something like that so that that fits and that's all standard uh, issues on here on the engine again before I put the power valve back together um, basically that seal's gone, you can see that, just wobbles all over the place and, you, and it's pretty obvious that it doesn't fit that slot. Took this out, obviously to do some bullshit painting on it, and uh, it's rusted up there, the bearing inside there is rusted away, and obviously a new seal on the top there as well, that's what we're going to get. Electrics are okay, it was a bit loose but that, the electric, the timing wasn't... Um, set up right I think I just put it back together put the power valve in and, and got a shot of it but didn't tell me all these things but that's uh, I don't mind because that's what we do right I'm just gonna grease up this linkage this power valve linkage and put it back in and then uh, I'll give you a picture of where it goes and, and how it goes but like I say that goes in the end of there basically when that's screwed in there that will go in with a bit of light grease on it and a mobium grease soap base or something like that and then this end same again with that over it I had to uh, I had to sort of take bits from the old and bits from the new uh, just to make it work because at the end of the day it's just it's quite coarse it just goes in there turns like that blah 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 and uh, lets a bit of gases out but if it's not done up properly or there's too many uh, gases getting out and stuff like that, it can affect performance. So I'll give you, uh, I'll see you in a minute.